everyone, welcome to Halifax. The Advocate Health Center is a tertiary care health center uh, that also does primary health and we service the Maritimes. So at the IWK, we are on a journey of trauma-informed care. Our vision is to really create safe physical, psychological, and culturally safe spaces for everyone, recognizing that trauma is prevalent. At the IWK, we have 10 ingredients to achieve this goal, and one of them is to train everyone. So the Brain Builders was a really great way to partner and to do this as one of our goals. We were very fortunate to meet lots of people that were on the same page with us, with the same goals and same vision of how do we get this information across Canada and across Atlantic provinces. As part of our Brain Builders Lab project, we decided to look at doing a 60 minute session on looking at the connections between the story of brain development and adverse childhood experiences. In that 60 minute session, we looked at developing an understanding of how early experiences build brains, the brain's executive functioning system and building resilience. We really want to highlight that by understanding the science, we can take a better action to improve both physical and mental health outcomes for children and youth and even as we grow into adults. Whether you work in healthcare, education, community partners or caregivers, you can play a role in creating better brains. So the other part of our uh, Brain Builders Lab project was to look at how do we start promoting the Brain Story Certificate uh, across the province of Nova Scotia. So at the IWK and Nova Scotia Health, we already have an existing training called Creating Cultures of Trauma-Informed Care and Wellbeing. So what we decided to do as a group was to embed a couple of slides about the Brain Story Certificate in every training uh, that we do across the province. So to date, uh, our stats on this is that we have shown this slide to over 1,100 people across the province, uh, both within healthcare systems and our community partners. Since March of 2019, uh, over 1,155 people have signed up to take the Brain Story Certificate. But we like to hope and think that some of our influence of spreading that slide across 1,000 people in the province has helped with the Brain Story Certificate enrollment. Our hope for the future is to convert our presentation that was done in person to online to reach wider audiences. We're also really hoping to build and continue our connections with our Nova Scotia partners, our Atlantic partners, and our national partners. Our hope into the future is really to get out the message that early experiences do build better brains.